Hi, it's John Kempton Scored with Core Walking, and I'm going to show you an exercise today that I've been doing for years in yoga classes that I teach publicly, but now, uh, well, yesterday I kind of upped the ante and um, it didn't go very well. I kind of failed spectacularly, but I'm going to try it again for you now. And what happened is, since I'm teaching classes live online these days, I realized that I can't really expect people to have four yoga blocks in their house. And that's how I've always done them. So here's, you know, your standard yoga block. This is a foam block, which weighs all of nothing. And to do the exercise I'm going to show you with the foam block is actually should be pretty easy for most people. Um, and I'm always happy when I go to a yoga studio when they have cork blocks, because those get hot, uh, heavier makes the exercise a little harder. Uh, so then yesterday, I made the mistake of saying, okay, you know, I'm gonna give you a minute, go and get four books and make them really heavy. You know, if you wanna really test yourself, get four heavy books. So these are the books that I got and they are big and they are heavy. So I'm gonna show you my books for fun. I got the uh, dictionary, which is a big heavy book. I got Baking Illustrated, Cook's Illustrated Baking Book. Uh, actually, I'm going to do something to give myself a break. I got the Megalithic European by Julian Cope, a favorite musician of mine who actually wrote a number of, he's written a number of amazing books, but two on stone circles in Europe. And then uh, Vegetarian Cooking for Everyone by Deborah Madison. So before I get started, I'm actually going to take the book jacket off of this, because this is one of the things that... Uh, kind of messed me up yesterday, but you'll see what I mean about the difficulty of this exercise. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold these books up out in front of us ourselves. So hopefully if you're following along, you got your books, so pause and get your books. So we're gonna do a minute. So I'm gonna start right now, because my clock is with me. And you know, extend your arms as best you can, but you'll see by, you know, you have control of how heavy your books are. And I'm going to admit this is my second take on the video, so my arms are a little beaten up already. Make sure to take your pelvis back, stick your butt out, get your pelvis in the right place. The, when the pelvis is in the right position, I promise your shoulders are going to be, it's going to be easier for your shoulders to work. So when I do this with blocks, I have people extend their arms, but I don't know if you can see that when I extend my arms, I'm shaking already. So I'm going to bend my elbows to give myself a little bit of a break. This is the first stage in the first minute. <laughs> it's work just to be here. So you don't have to start with such heavy books. You can get, you know, four paperbacks. Um, it's really good work. And closing in on my first minute. And there we go. I'm gonna give myself a bit of a break. I'm gonna pick up my second, my third book. I'm gonna go with the Julian Cope book. And again, I'm gonna give my home and put them down, give myself 15 seconds. Any books you want, any weight you want, it's all in fun. You wanna build up strength. I tried to get my son to do this exercise with me this morning and I told him he could use the foam blocks, but he wasn't interested in that. I was not amused. All right, there's three books, one minute. So whenever I stop talking, that means I'm working. You can see my elbows and my arms are not as extended out. The elbows are bent just to be here. So I knew when I started this yesterday, I knew I made a mistake right away. First minute was doable, but uh, the fourth, as you'll see, if I can make it, I don't know if I will, but the blocks just, the books just slipped out. So I'm making the excuse that the book jacket was the reason, but it's really interesting. So when I use the cork blocks, let's say, which are a little heavier than the foam, I'm able to extend my arms all the way out and the work is in the uh, biceps, triceps, deltoids. And this work is all pecs, right? I'm all in my pecs. Nice, there was a minute. All right. So I'm gonna give myself a full, well, let's see, maybe I'll just give myself 30 seconds of a break and I will come back to four books and hopefully you're joining me. 
why wait a minute when we make that one? Okay. All right. Looking for more books. There have be enough just to pick up and go. So if you want, you just keep the elbows bent like I am now. I'm gonna. Oh, so you have to press the books together to keep them together. And again, you're trying to stretch the arms out as straight as you can. I'm gonna really try to keep the books from slipping. Keep the thighs back. Pelvis in neutral. Press the books together. Breathe easy. That's 30 seconds. I'm thinking I want to extend my arms out, but it's just not easy. Again, like, well, this is now getting into my deltoids, but it's really all pet up, starting to slip. It's all pec minor and major. All right, 10 seconds. Let's see if I can extend out a little. Nope. Oof. Oof, I say. Ah, oh, there we go. Four minutes, one minute each. Uh, it was three minutes total, uh, whatever. Uh, super fun exercise. Thanks for watching. Give that a shot on your own. Honestly, start with foam blocks. Start with foam blocks and do that four. It's going to be doable. Get a little heavier as you go along. Have a great day.